after banning 59 China origin apps on June 29th, including TikTok and UC Browser, India banned 47 clone apps on July 27th. As India-China border tensions escalated, Chinese telecom and tech giants Huawei and ZTE also faced cancellations of their 4G upgrade tenders. The Indian government is evaluating another list of 275 Chinese apps for violating national security and the privacy of citizens. The latest list reportedly includes Tencent-backed gaming app PUBG, AliExpress, ByteDance, Resso and You Like, Ludo World and Xiaomi's Zilli, among other apps. The geopolitical tensions have had a repercussions on the beneficiaries of Chinese protectionism that led to breakneck expansion of Chinese tech giants like Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu and ByteDance. Chinese Communist Party firewall kept foreign companies such as Google and Facebook out of China for years that helped flourish domestic tech companies. Strained ties between US and China, followed by Indochina border tensions at the back of global isolation due to COVID-19 pandemic, have had greater global ramifications for China against the expansion of Chinese giants. Huawei, for instance, the Chinese smartphones and technology company, was cut off from the US technology suppliers. Digital companies based out of China have been red flagged by many countries as China's data sharing norms require companies to share data with the home country, which can potentially be used for gaining intelligence and spying, as it has been alleged repeatedly across the world. The muck gets deeper as charges against Chinese apps amount to cyber espionage attempts, privacy violations and security risks. U.S. has alleged that the tech giant is stealing intellectual property from U.S.-based digital companies, including Apple's trade secrets, through dubious tactics leading to its blacklisting along with ZTE as national security threats. The U.S.-imposed sanctions also means that Huawei can no longer use American-made chips or semiconductors. The company faces a recently announced ban in the UK as well, which might mean that other European countries and US allies might follow suit. As per a July 16 report by Reuters, the US and British foreign ministers agreed to promote the development of additional trusted 5G solutions after Britain's decision. UK media reports also suggest that a D10 club of 10 democracies, including UK, US, Italy, Germany, France, Japan, Canada, Australia, South Korea and India, aim to create alternative suppliers of 5G equipment to avoid reliance on China. Countries like Australia have already blocked Huawei and ZTE from providing equipment for its 5G network and had advised India to do the same in 2019. India might also look to block China's telecommunications infrastructure from heading for a 4G upgrade and subsequently a rollout of the 5G network in the country. As homegrown companies like Reliance Geo, Swedish-owned Ericsson, Finnish-owned Nokia, South Korean-owned Samsung and Japanese-owned Fujitsu start to gather pace. The trader's body has also urged the government that Huawei and ZTE should not be allowed to participate in the next-generation mobile network rollout in India. Meanwhile, Huawei has reportedly laid off staff in India while cutting its revenue forecast by up to 50%.